Hi, this is Steve with PolygonSky.com. We're now going to look at adding a security certificate to our website. We're going to install a free certificate called Let's Encrypt. If you've just got a general website and you're just collecting customer data via contact forms or you just want to protect your website with a security certificate, then the free Let's Encrypt certificate is ideal because there's no cost, it renews automatically. And the only other thing to do is add a plugin into WordPress itself. So let's go ahead and add the certificate. You need to go to your SiteGround control panel. And then we go to the C panel. So click the red button at the top left there. Go to C panel. And then once that's there, there's lots of different options. But towards the bottom is a security section. And there's the Let's Encrypt option here. So there you go, it says Let's Encrypt is a new certificate authority. It's free, automated and open. So we just want to install it here. So I've got a selection of websites that I've installed. You should find yours just there. If it isn't, it will just be in this drop down box. I'm just going to install it on this website and enter your email address and click install. And that won't take too long. OK, so there we go. Let's Encrypt Certificate Installation Success. So click OK. And there you go. Now you can see your in, in the list of install certificates, you've now got one. Renewal date is just in a few months, but you don't have to worry about that. It will automatically do it. OK, so once that's done, the next step is to go to your website. So log into WordPress. So this is just the uh, WordPress installation we just installed the certificate on. So I'm just going to go to the dashboard and log in. So what you'll find when you install a certificate, you can enter HTTPS instead of just HTTP. But that doesn't work automatically. Now there are different ways of making sure your visitors always visit your secure website. But what we'll do is we'll install a plugin in WordPress, which will help us achieve that goal. First, so let's just go to Settings and General. And you can see there it's got your website address. So your website isn't actually on a secure location at the moment. So what we can do, rather than manually changing that, we'll install this plugin, which will do it for us. But I just wanted to show you that that's set there at the moment. And after we install this plugin, it will be different. That's not the only thing the plugin does, but that's just one of the more visual things you can see. The other thing you can see, if I just bring this screen down, just click in the address bar. You can see there that's not secure. I'm not actually accessing the secure site at the moment, even though I've got the certificate installed. If I just go to my website, it doesn't say anything about security. It doesn't say anything about the certificate. However, if I add the HTTPS, which is a secure side, you see there straight away you've got the padlock. So if you just click Show Certificate, and see there, Let's Encrypt is who issued the certificate. So that's, that's great. So I just click OK on that. And what we'll do, let's just go and add this plugin. So if you just go to your dashboard again, if you did what I did and changed it to the HTTPS, it will ask you to log in again because we've changed where we're logging in from. So log in again, go to plugins and add new. And if you search for really simple SSL, then we've got this here, which we'll install. So we're going to install now and then we'll activate the plugin. So you can just click go ahead and activate the SSL. So what you'll find now, if I go back to settings and general, there we go. So it's changed. So it's added the secure element to the website address. And what that should also mean is if I go to that address, just without the SSL, it redirects me to the, the secure version. So that's great. Otherwise, that doesn't happen automatically. You'd have to actually get your visitors to always type in the HTTPS, which is of no use whatsoever, because when was the last time you actually typed HTTP? You just don't do it anymore. You just you don't really even type 
www. You just type the website name in and you get to the website. So that's a really good feature of this plugin. Just going back to the dashboard, what you might find is if you've added some media already, it won't actually have. I actually uploaded this after I'd installed the certificate last time. But if you've uploaded this already, it won't have the S there. That can cause some problems. You might get errors on the website saying parts of the content are not encrypted. So you'd have to manually change these or re-upload them. But luckily this plugin handles all that. So you shouldn't have that problem. So that plugin really is as simple as it says it is, which is always very useful. Again, if you have any problems or if you have any questions, feel free to ask me or you can always ask the SiteGround help. So there we go. So that is installing a security certificate for your website. So that means any data that is transferred from your website via contact forms, for example, that will be secure so it can't be read in plain text. We've installed the certificate. We've installed the plugin that enables the website to be secured. And there we go. That's it. And that's all there is to it.